I'm Elizabeth Bradford Bell. I was born in Missouri, but grew up in Norman, Oklahoma. I stayed there and went to the University of Oklahoma for my undergrad degree, so I am a Sooner. Please don't hold that against me. I then moved out to North Carolina and I went to Wake Forest University for medical school. I completed a residency in otolaryngology at Emory in Atlanta, Georgia, and then completed an additional year of training, a fellowship in head and neck surgical oncology and microvascular surgery at the University of Miami in Florida. I love practicing otolaryngology and specifically head and neck surgical oncology. I think that it's an incredibly gratifying field and I get to treat patients who are older patients, younger patients, men and women. I get to see people from all different walks of life, all different backgrounds. I really like to get to know my patients. And as a surgical oncologist, often I'll follow my patients for years into the future. So being able to get to know people and develop that relationship. As a surgical oncologist, I treat and remove tumors that are growing in the salivary glands, growing on the skin of the face and neck, growing within the mouth, on the lips, in the back of the throat, the voice box, and in the neck, including thyroid diseases. Uh, the other part of my practice is the reconstructive part. So if you can imagine if a patient comes in and they have a cancer on their tongue and we have to remove a portion of their tongue, we need to fill that space with something. So my special interest and my specialized training is in reconstruction. I'm able to take skin from the arm or skin and muscle from the leg and transplant it into the mouth to rebuild a tongue, to try to get that patient back to speaking and swallowing and back to as much functional normalcy as possible. Similarly, if someone has a tumor that's growing on the mandible or the jawbone and we have to remove a portion of bone, we can take a graft from the leg or from the shoulder blade and transplant that into the jaw again, to try to recreate as much functional normalcy as possible. So that patient can go through the rest of their treatment, they can be cured of cancer, but they can also have a good functional quality of life. For me, coming back and joining Nebraska Medicine was almost like coming home. Everyone I've met with and worked with here are incredibly compassionate. Everyone works with a high degree of integrity. And I feel very lucky to be at an institution where patient-centered care is really the focus and the goal. The other big benefit for me is that at an academic center, we have research, we have clinical trials that are ongoing. I have the privilege to partake in resident education. So I can tr uh, train that next generation of otolaryngologists who are my future colleagues. It's incredibly empowering as a physician to be able to be a part of all of this. And I think it allows me to deliver even better care to my patients.